Well, welcome to The Missing Piece. Please visit us at themissingpiece.store. That's our email. Like us on Facebook, just search Build Play Together. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video about cleaning or washing Lego. Okay, a couple things you might need. A rag, dry off your hands. I like to use these Nets mesh bags uh, for rinsing vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Uh, and just some blue soap. I do like to use the name brand soap. I don't want to say the word or the name, but it's the same stuff you use for cleaning birds during oil spills. Uh, this right here might be my secret ingredient. It's just a simple salad spinner. Yeah, some stuff might get fall through, but uh, it really brings out the, the Lego pretty good. Um, and then today, what's up, Dexter? I set up a drying station out there on the picnic table. Uh, it's not in direct sun, but it's pretty warm outside and it's nice and breezy. So that should dry them pretty quick. So simply put your Lego in the mesh bag, just agitate them a little bit, and then the warm soapy water will lift any dust, some dirt. Um, if they're really, really dirty, then you're gonna have to go through with a soft bristle brush, like a toothbrush, and rinse them off or rub them clean that way with the brush. But these ones aren't that bad. I'm just giving them a nice little bath. Um, if you wanna sanitize your Lego, you can use bleach. You want to use a quarter of a tablespoon per gallon of water. I don't have any bleach in this this time, but the trick with that is you don't want it to set for very long um, because the bleach will actually eat the, the plastic. Um, it'll also mess up any stickers or anything that are on there. Um, there's a couple sticker pieces in here, but it's not a big deal. Um, the other thing is water temperature. You don't want to use any water over 104 degrees per the Lego website. Um, that will start to warp and manipulate your blocks and uh, just make just it breaks them honestly so that's why lego.com says not to use your dishwasher or not to use your uh, washing machine for your clothes just by hand is what they recommend I agree with them 100% I mean they would know better than most right um, what else air dry don't let them set in the sun I know the sun's coming through the window right now. It's not a big deal, but you don't want them to set and bake in the sun. I know if you're fixing discolored bricks, like white bricks, there's secret potions to do that. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, to be honest, I've never had to do it. Um, the other thing too, if you do like a, a, a any type of bleach in the water, you just wanna make sure you rinse them thoroughly. Okay, so I wanna get these out of the water. That open. These mesh bags are nice because you can put small, small pieces. Nothing really comes to it. Um, just a simple education of the water and the soap. The bricks rubbing on bricks um, really gets them clean. Just let it drip dry for a second here. Um, and open up the salad spinner. Make sure it's on there correctly. Try not to knock anything over. Give them a nice little shake. There's nothing left behind. It looks good. Um, they're still a little soapy, but for purposes of this video, it'll be okay. Excuse my hands. Put on a salad spinner. This is the best part. Hopefully, it does work. It's kind of silly. There's a little bit of water, maybe a quarter of an inch of water in there. Let's just keep spinning. I like to go both directions. Really works quite well. Pop the top. So there's some bigger pieces in here. Um, these honestly are the worst. They really trap the water in there. 
but the sound looks kind of really helps. So, uh, pull the little cage out of there. So, yeah, one little piece fall through, that's okay. But, um, it's just a rod. But you can sort of see, like, yeah, a lot of water came off of that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go over here. Lazy dog. Try not to spill these on the duck because that would really suck. And then just dump them out. A little tap. And then just spread them out so that the air can kind of circulate around them. Um, many figs are great for just holding water. So if you can, maybe take them apart. Um, remember not to put them in direct sunlight because that will bleach your bricks. Um, you don't want to do that. It's actually rinsed off really well. So that's it. Remember, don't use water over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. If you use bleach, use a quarter of a tablespoon per gallon. All you need to do is just some warm, hot soap or warm, soapy water. Um, just about too hot to touch, just, as, as hot as you can stand it, but not over 104 degrees because it, it'll start to, to mess with your bricks. But um, that's it. Uh, invest in a salad spinner and some of those mesh bags and you can clean a lot of Lego really quick. Um, I do recommend switching out the water from time to time. Don't just keep using the same dirty water. Do not use a washing machine. Do not use a... Uh, dishwasher um because they're just too hot um and too rough but uh no need to use any type of detergent or anything like that you don't want to use a type of soap that has i don't know first thing i think of is like lava soap uh, i know it gets grease and stuff off your hands but it has a texture to it that'll scuff up your bricks um i like to use a name brand soap like i said i use the blue soap that they use for cleaning up animals after oil spills um I don't want to get in trouble for saying their name because they don't sponsor me. But uh, anyways, that's it. A little bit of a long video. Clean your bricks is very easy. Um, it's a smart thing to do, especially when it's a nice day. Nice and sunny out. But um, nice and warm too. But uh, it's a good day for that. And if you don't have the option of letting them dry outside, then a nice towel. Um, just kind of flip them around from time to time and uh, let a fan blow over if you have a small desk fan or box fan uh, just something to move the air over them because that really helps them dry quickly i've had lego just sit there wet forever <laughs> it really stinks to put wet lego away because it can make it musty it can make it smell bad but uh that's it so anyways thanks for watching check us out at www.themissingpiece.store like us on facebook and i think i'll probably post this on youtube so make sure you like us on youtube as well um, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.